there. Aren't we lucky to have found such a wonderful old clock? I can't wait for the boys to see it. Yeah, it's great. Now let's hear it cuckoo. Rusty, keep your hands off of it. Don't touch it. But I just want to see if it works. Of course it works. Well, I should say so. That is a genuine cuckoo clock. It's been cooking for over a hundred years. <laughs> Couldn't we afford a new one? <laughs> Darling, this is much better than a new one. It's an antique. Now listen, when Daddy and Uncle Charlie get back, don't say a word. We want to see if they notice it all by themselves. And for heaven's sakes, don't stare at it. On second thought, I think you two better go upstairs. I don't trust you. You'll give it away. Oh, come on. No, go on, honey. Come on, Rusty. I'll teach you how to knit. <laughs> you come on. I'll teach you how to bait a hook. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi, Hi kids. Yeah. Hi, fellas. Hi. What are you guys cooping yourselves in the house for? Get out and take a walk. Nothing like a hike in the country, eh, Charlie? And how, boy? Oh, well, the air is so pure and fresh up here. Really pure and fresh. And I just found out why the air is so pure and fresh up here. Oh, why? It's got oxygen in it. <laughs> hey, boy, whatever it was, it sure gave me an appetite. Yeah, me too. What <laughs> time is dinner? Oh, for goodness sakes, look at that. It's not even five o'clock yet. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Let's fix a snack. Yeah. Go, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it, hold huh. it, hold it. Danny, haven't you noticed anything? Why, am I supposed to? Oh, honestly, Danny, you're the most unobservant man I've ever known. Is that so? <laughs> so happens I spotted it the minute I walked in. You did? You got a new outfit. <laughs> Thank you, dear, but this outfit is four years old. Uh, you got a new hairdo. The hairdo's older than the outfit. <laughs> okay, I give up. Not me. What? I know what it is. What? Bunny's got a new outfit. <laughs> Can't you look over there? Where? The wall. The wall's got a new hairdo? <laughs> Danny, sometimes I wonder about you. What is it? What is it? We've got a new clock. Well, oh, hooray, such a big deal. So we've got a new clock. It's not a new clock. <laughs> you got a new clock that's not a new clock? Oh, sometimes I wonder about you. I mean, it's an antique. It's 100 years old. A hundred? Did you hear that, Charlie? Don't stand there. Come over here. Let's wish the clock a happy birthday. Oh, I wish we would have known. We would have baked the cake. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, fellas, make your little jokes, have your fun and frivolity. But in a couple of seconds, you are going to hear five of the greatest cuckoos you've ever heard in your life. Mm -hmm, what a tone. This is a bit, isn't it? You're just putting us on. You're not really oh, that honey, excited about this. Don't say anything. Thing. Just what? listen. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Anybody home? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your cuckoo got stuck. Perfectly before. Maybe it's busy laying an egg. Busy <laughs> laying an egg. I, I, I know what. Maybe we could coax it out with a worm. <laughs> Is that a worm on you? Just ate my last one. <laughs> then, you know, I got a better idea. What? Let's call the Audubon Society. The Audubon Society? Well, sure, they could send out a vulture with a tow truck. Ah. <laughs> Don't feel too badly that it doesn't work. Those clocks hardly ever work. I know my grandmother had one once. It didn't work either. Except once in a while, the cuckoo used to back out and ask what time it was. <laughs> what time it was? Well, this one worked perfectly when we bought it. Well, I should say so. You don't think we'd pay $100 for something that didn't work? Of course, certainly. <laughs> you paid what? <laughs> Spent a hun, a hun, a hun, a hun, a hundred, hundred dollars for a cuckoo clock that doesn't even cuckoo. Oh, what's the matter with you kids? That's just a beat up old relic. Of course it is. It's a genuine antique. Well, for a hundred bucks, the, the, the thing ought to work. Uh, maybe, maybe the cuckoo got stuck. I think it's too embarrassed to come out. Yeah. <laughs> Where does it work from? Oh, boy. What's the matter? Oh, live and learn, they say, you know. 
Well, did you know that West Germany is over 100 years old? Oh, Danny, don't be silly. There wasn't any West Germany until 1949. Uh, you better bone up on the history. Yeah? Take a look under there, pal. It what? reads, Made in West Germany. Oh, where did that say that? Where? 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 Oh, there. There. It says so. Well, West Germany. <laughs> Let's face it, girls, you got gypped. You return the clock to the store and make them refund your money. Okay? Right. Right. Charlie, we can't return it to the store because we didn't buy it in a store. No. We bought it from a little old lady outside of town. Little old lady? Yes, she had a wagon full of antiques on the side of the road. You did. Oh, you didn't fall for that bit, did you? The side of the road thing? Oh, no, Kathy. If you want to buy antiques, deal with legitimate antique dealers. But oh. she was so nice and friendly. Okay. If she was so nice and friendly, just return the clock. Right. We can't. Why not? All sales are final. <laughs> <laughs> Said so right on the sign. How could you let yourselves get rooked like that? Well, Danny, you should have seen her. She looked just like somebody's sweet little old grandmother. So did Ma Barker. <laughs> just because she looked like somebody's little old grandmother, you're going to get stuck with it? Well, we're not going to get stuck with it, right, Dan? Absolutely. <laughs> we're not paying any hundred dollars for that three dollar toy. It goes back first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some clock. It's five after five at Cuckoo, three times. <laughs> Maybe it's three o'clock in West Germany. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, well. So you brought it back. Changed your mind after all. Ah, hmm? uh, turns out we were right, hmm? Turns out you were wrong, hmm? That sweet little old lady of yours vanished into thin air. Yeah, where was she hiding that push card? Under a bush. <laughs> well, I told you before, and I'm going to tell you one more time and no more. Next time you want to buy antiques, go to a real antique dealer. Gee, hundred bucks. Oh, it's not the money, Charlie. It's not? Of course not. Good, I'll sell you my half of the clock. <laughs> I mean, I don't like being taken. <laughs> We make one little goof, and they make a federal case out of it. Yeah, so we made a mistake. Let's forget it. Yes, let's just forget it. Forget it? And let a hundred bucks go down a drain? Nothing doing. We're getting our money back. How? The same way you suckers lost it. Look, we got a whole woodshed full of junk out there. We're going in the antique business. You wouldn't. That's ridiculous. Is that so? You mean all that broken down old stuff we threw out when we moved in here? That's exactly what I mean. Come on, Charlie, let's change clothes and get it out of the oh, woods. Oh, Danny, you can't sell that. Even the junk man wouldn't haul it away. But who would be stupid enough to buy that stuff? Oh, would you like to open an account with us? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like your kind of store. Oh. <laughs> all right, folks, step right up and get them while we got them. Antiques right this way, folks. Take two vanilla and one chocolate. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Dan? There's nobody here. I'm just practicing. Uh, hey, this is a seedy-looking bunch of junk, isn't it? Yeah. Here we ought to make a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. As long as you get a hundred back. Yeah. Well, if it isn't the cuckoo connoisseur is just off the boat from West Germany. <laughs> Be gates, pigeons! Uh. Danny Williams, I thought you were just clowning, but you're not actually going to go through with all this. And why not, pray tell? Why not, pray tell, indeed, because this whole thing is childish. Is that so? Yes, it is. And now that you've had your little laugh, just pick up all your toys and put them back in the woodshed. Nothing doing, not until we get our hundred bucks back. Danny, just because we made a mistake, that's no reason to play sneaky with everybody in the neighborhood. We're not playing sneaky. You got taken, and we're just going to take right back. <laughs> okay. Commit robbery in broad daylight, but I'm not going to stay around and watch. I'm going in the house and hide. And I'm not going to watch either. I am going to town. Oh, 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 Bunny, Bunny, if you should run into a horse that needs one, we gotta use tail. <laughs> Really go 
back to the Revolutionary War? Yes, ma'am, you are sitting in an authentic 1781 wicker chair. <laughs> well, Fred, it really is quite comfortable. Why don't we just take it for the, for the back porch? Oh, well, how much is it? Well, sir, I couldn't let that thing go for less than $10. I'll give you five. That's close enough. <laughs> you, uh, you really will sell it for $5. Hello, folks. Howdy, stranger. Uh, See, that's a great collection of antiques you got here. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, if you don't mind, sir, I'll get to you in just a minute. Now, right now, I'm selling this chair to these nice people for $5. Well, I'll give you 10 <laughs> For that matter, I'll give you 15 Well, uh, well that's little enough to spend for a Chippendale chair. <laughs> Chippendale. That's a Chippendale? Why, that's a marvelous example of Chippy's Wicker period. I've been looking a long time for a chair just like that. Why, I've hunted all over New England, from Maine to Montana. Would you excuse me for just a minute? I want to talk to my husband. Oh, and how don't you sell the chair? What are you doing? You're queering the sale for crying out loud. Danny, I know what I'm doing. Will you leave it to me? Please. Uh, uh sir. Yes? I'll give you $20 for the chair. 25 35 45 You can have it. Let's go, Florence. But it is chicken day. Yeah, I don't care if it's worldly, sir. I'm not gonna pay that much. <laughs> Fred? For how about 35 30 25 Freddy? 10 How about... Too bad, Danny. You blew that one. I blew it! I practically had that five dollars on my little hot hand. Five dollars? I added up to thirty-five. Then how come we still got the chair? Come on, give me the five dollars. What kind of an argument is that, Mr. Technicality? Have you sold anything yet? No, 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 dear, no. Gee, you sure have been out here a long time. I know, I know. Guess you're not a very good salesman, huh? Look, well, haven't you got anything else to do besides come out here and heckle me? Why don't you go into the woods and, and feed some walnuts to the squirrels, huh? Gee, can I walk? Now look, sweetheart. Dan, Danny, what? Dan, what? there's another guy coming, looks like a pigeon. Oh, oh, Charlie, no shilling this time, huh? Okay. Let's handle it legitimately, okay? Okay. All right. Can I watch? Oh, yeah, watch. Sit under the tree, but no heckling, huh? Okay. Well, well, how do you do, sir? I was just passing by. Oh, fine. Williams is my name. Ludlow. This here. is Mr. Halper, uh, Halper and Williams, uh, antique dealers. Uh, <laughs> let's look around if you see anything you like. Yes, I'd like to look around if I may. You don't happen to have a bald headed horse, do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, how, how about this? Picture. Say, that's a lovely looking Isn't article. It? This picture came over on the um, um, on, on the sunflower. <laughs> Sorry. The cauliflower? The mayflower. The mayflower. <laughs> yeah, he likes his little jokes. <laughs> That's quite a picture, isn't it? Uh, the handle's broken. The handle's broken. Well, that's what happens when you land on Plymouth Rock. <laughs> they, like a... they threw it over the boat. Yeah, and... all right. <laughs> it looks like a lot of old used furniture to me. Well, that's what it is. Old used furniture. All early American antiques. Yes, yeah. sir. That's right. Yeah, now look here. Get a load of this bed. Oh, yes. Quite an article. Quite an article. <laughs> Do you know who slept in his bed? Who? Uh, Thomas Buffalo uh, Jefferson. Buffalo <laughs> Thomas Buffalo Jefferson. <laughs> well, now, they both couldn't have slept in it. <laughs> well, why not? It's a double bed. <laughs> well, uh, sir, uh, you just look around. I'm sure you might run into something rather rare. <laughs> and talking about rare. Yeah. Uh, how about this little phonograph? This was once the prized possession of Benjamin Franklin. I didn't know they had phonographs in Franklin's day. You see, how rare can you get? <laughs> we have an interesting assortment around here. Well, yes, we have. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you, friend. I wouldn't do this for anybody else in the world, friend. I'm going to let you have this whole shooting match for one hundred dollars. I'll take it. I wouldn't turn this down if I were you, because this is a... a you'll, 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 you'll take it? Here's $50 for now, and I'll give you the rest when I come back with the station wagon. Now, I'll, I'll see you later. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> we sold it all. Oh, Daddy, you sold it all. Yeah. I'm going to go tell Mommy, okay? Well, look, Mommy, I'll Mommy, tell, tell her. You, you, don't, you don't have to tell her, honey. Well, I'll why tell her. Why not, Danny? Why can't she tell well, her? Well, Kathy's liable to get sore. I figured I'd explain it to her. Well, what's she going to get sore about? We did a fine selling job. What's that wee bit? 
You know, you almost queered the whole deal. How? How stupid can you be? Didn't you know they didn't have phonographs in Benjamin Franklin's day? They didn't. No. How do you like that? I thought that was the one honest thing I came up with. <laughs> okay. Get, get, get that look off your face. I didn't do anything so awful. Making a man pay $100 for all this junk isn't so awful. Well, I got you, kid. See, you only gave me $50, see? Only $50? That's right. Yeah, he'll be back with the other $50 later. Well, congratulations. You've just done a lovely job of hoodwinking. What hoodwinking? Or just pure honest salesmanship, right, Charlie? That's right. Yeah. Kathy, you should have seen Danny. Once he got his hooks into that poor guy, the guy was a goner. I tell you, when it comes to taking suckers, there's no one quite like, there's no, uh, no one quite like, uh, like the fellow I used to know in Jersey. <laughs> and uh, he, I'll tell, I'll have a nice warm bath of hot milk. <laughs> Danny Williams, you ought to be ashamed of yourself misrepresenting all these things. What misrepresenting? I told the man it was all American furniture, and that's what it is. There isn't a thing here from West Germany. <laughs> Please, call the whole thing off and give the man his money back. Irish, I can't call it off. Why not? Can't you see the sign? All sales are final. <laughs> Danny Williams, I am not going to let you get away with this. We have always been an honest family, and I'm not going to let you blacken our name. Now, I am no longer asking you to call the whole thing off. I'm telling you. Oh, I didn't know you felt that strongly about it. Well, I certainly do. Well, in that case, I have only one thing to say. <laughs> Dirty, but that proves they're antique. <laughs> Honest? You know who these stock clothes used to belong to? Martha Washington. No fool. Yep. Who's she? <laughs> Martha Washington was George Washington's mother. <laughs> Did they really used to belong to Marsha Washington? <laughs> Not Marsha, Martha. <laughs> oh. Gee, they must be real valuable. Oh, they are. And tell you what I'm going to do. Molly, because you're a friend of mine, I'll give you the whole works for one dollar. <laughs> I only have my allowance, a quarter. That's close enough. <laughs> now, what on earth are you doing? Hey, 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 what's going on here? I'm playing antique dealers. You're playing? Uh-huh. Well, if you're just playing, give the little girl a quarter back. I can't. Why not? As it says on the sign. All sales are final. Oh, all sales final, you. Now, you give me that quarter. Here you are, little girl. And you take all of these clothes. And, and, and Linda was just playing a little game with you, that's all. Those are old doll clothes she got for Christmas years ago. And you can have them for nothing. <laughs> and they're not really antiques at all. Now, here you go. Go right ahead. Gee, I liked them better when they were Marsha Washington's. <laughs> Linda, I'm shocked. How could you tell the nice little girl that all those old rags were antiques? Well, that's what Daddy told that nice man this morning. <laughs> You're satisfied. Oh, great. Great. Uh, all the good things I do, you couldn't learn. But the one time I do something a little shady, that you have to learn. Yeah, I'm awfully sorry, Daddy. Well, I'm sorry, too. It's more my fault than it is yours. But I'll make a deal with you. You stop being a crook and I'll stop being a crook. Okay, Daddy. I'll never do it again. Linda, that was the best acting job I've ever seen. Just here's your 50 cents. And thanks. You know me. Anything for a good cause. <laughs> Come on, Charlie, don't just sit there. Give me a hand. I gotta get this stuff back in the woodshed. Now, come on, put some stuff in this box. Oh, no. Now, I still say a deal is a deal. It isn't like the guy was getting cheated. Besides, this junk is worth a hundred bucks just for firewood. <laughs> Charlie, if you had seen Linda trying to con that little girl, you'd know how I feel. Now, come on, let's get this stuff packed up. Hey, Dan. What? Danny, the, the guy with the station wagon is back. 
Now, do we have to give him his dough? Charlie, if I didn't give him back his money, I wouldn't be able to look Linda in the face. Or myself, either. I gotta look myself straight in the face. Yeah, you always were a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Oh, how are you, sir? Gentlemen, I've come back to conclude the deal. Well, uh, I want to tell you, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Pigeon. Uh, P Pigeon. Ludlow. 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 Uh, uh, here, here's your fifty dollars. Oh no, it's the other way around. I owe you fifty dollars. Uh, no, 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 Mister. Look, uh, look uh, th th there's, there's no deal. The deal is up. Oh, please now, go ahead, take it, please, please. <laughs> oh, Danny, how can you be so heartless? The poor guy is begging you. Take the no, money. No, no, I'm sorry. Look, Mister Ludlow, we misrepresented. This is just a lot of worthless junk. That's all. <laughs> all right, give me back the fifty dollars. That's good. I'll make you out a check for a hundred and fifty. What? A uh, hundred and fifty? Uh, Mr. Ludlow, I tell you, this is just a lot of moth-eaten junk. It isn't worth a dime. Two hundred. Oh, I think I'm in a faint. Charlie, will you please? <laughs> no. Three hundred and not a penny more. Now I know I'm going to faint. <laughs> will you shut up? I I'm sorry, Mr. Ludlow, but I just don't want to cheat you. Danny, will you cheat him with my half? Danny, will you butt out? No deal, Mr. Ludlow, no deal. All right. You win. I take it you know about the piece. Piece? Well, what, what, what piece? Gentlemen, I'm going to put my cards on the table. I'm an antique dealer, famous for early Americana. Now, I'm sure you want both of us to make a little money in this, so I'm going to give you my final top offer. One thousand dollars. And well, here's the check. One thousand? That? What are you buying? The house? Uh, it is. The only authentic Paul Revere that I've found in the last ten years. Paul, Paul Revere? That's a saddle? <laughs> I take it you found the mark while I was gone. The mark? Yeah. Man, yeah, what's the matter with you? Didn't you remember the mark? You're on the bottom? Yeah. The initials? P.R. You see it right there? P.R. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul Revere. Yeah. It's incredible how few people know that he was a famous silversmith. Yeah, you know, very, very few people know that. Yeah, only a few people know that, yeah. Well, it's been refreshing to do business with you gentlemen. Good day. Uh, go, go, goodbye, Mr. Pigeon. Goodbye, Mr. Ludlow. <laughs> Charlie, what are you looking for? Alan Funt, we gotta be on candid camera. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. What are you doing? I'm reading all about Paul Revere. Well, while you were reading about him, I went out and dug him up. <laughs> what are you talking about? You remember the sweet little old lady that swindled the girls with the clock? Yeah. I found her. No kidding. <laughs> you really found her, Charlie? Yep. I found her and got this little deal out of her, this beautiful little gem, for a mere 25 bucks. <laughs> what is that? That, my friend, is a genuine Paul Revere wooden salad bowl. And so is your head. <laughs> Look, Paul Revere was a silversmith, and according to this encyclopedia, he didn't do anything in wood. Well, that encyclopedia should go look in another encyclopedia. What? Yeah, well, this is right in the back there, his mark, P.R. Made in P.R. That's Puerto Rico. You better hurry back. Maybe you can clip her for a few more gems. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Couldn't it be Paul Revere was a Puerto Rican? <laughs> Who asked you? 